In this video, let's understand the adjacency list representation of a graph. In this form of representation, vertices are stored in a map-like data structure and every vertex stores a list of its adjacent vertices. Here is a graph and its corresponding adjacency list representation. We have three vertices, A, B, and C, and each vertex then maps to a list of adjacent vertices. Considering the graph on the right, A's adjacency list will contain B, B's adjacency list will contain A and C, and finally C's adjacency list will contain B. Back in Replit, we can write, Adjacency list is equal to an object which is a map-like data structure. And for vertex A, we have an array with B as an element. For vertex B, we have an array with A and C as elements. For vertex C, we have an array with B as an element. Now, to get a list of all the nodes A is connected to, we can log adjacency list of A. Run the code and we get B. Similarly, we can get the adjacency list of B, which contains A and C, and adjacency list of C, which contains B. This is the adjacency list representation of the graph from our slide. Now there are pros and cons to each representation. First, with an adjacency list, we only need to store the values for the edges that exist. With adjacency matrix, you store values irrespective of whether an edge exists or not. Because of this, storage-wise, an adjacency list is way more efficient. Second, with adjacency list, inserting and finding adjacent nodes is constant time complexity, whereas with adjacency matrix, it is linear time complexity. Third, an adjacency list allows you to store additional values with an edge, such as weight of the edge. With adjacency matrix, such information would have to be stored externally. And it is because of these reasons, our implementation will also assume the adjacency list representation of a graph. In the next video, let's understand with code the implementation of an undirected graph data structure in JavaScript. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.